Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Now, of course, to work off all the beer that you are no doubt going to uh, indulge in this weekend at Beaver Creek Oktoberfest, you want to make sure that you run it off and, uh, and really kind of feel good about indulging on Sunday too. Now, I'm here with Jeremy and Michelle, and we are talking about the Beaver Creek Shuffle. Now, Jeremy, first of all, what is this run all about? Are we talking like a marathon? Like, do we really have to be in like really good shape to do this? No, so this is a 5K and 10K option. It's the Oktoberfest Shuffle, and it's our 10th year. Um, it is a beautiful course um, that is just as well enjoyed walking as running. Um, but we get single track, we get some more open double track and um, some open trails on the mountain where you get spectacular views. Uh, but it's, it's a great run for everyone, whether you're out there to win it or just in it to just, burn off just... some beer. <laughs> now, is it something that all ages can enjoy? Yeah, so we actually offer free registration for kids under the age of six. Um, we have discounted registration uh, for kids under 18 as well. Um, we also have a free family uh, 1K. Um, so anyone who wants to come out and just kind of do a little jaunt around the start finish line, um, we do offer that as well. Um, that will be a little bit before the race starts around 9.55 tomorrow morning. Uh, but that's just a way for everyone to kind of loosen up and do a little active warm up before um, the activities start down here. Okay, so that starts at what time? So this will be on Sunday? Yep, so Sunday morning. Uh, registration opens at 8. Um, we'll do our course description and the kids' K at 9.55. The 10, 5K and 10K will start at 10 a.m. Okay, so plenty of time to be done to get to the beer garden opening at 11. Yeah, so you can be first in line for beer. Um, you actually get a beer and a brat uh, for registering, um, as well as a hat and a gift from Smartwool. So um, the $35 registration not only goes to a great cause of the charitable fund, but you get a lot out of it. Also, do you get bonus points for wearing lederhosen and dirndls? So yes, if you run in lederhosen, um, there may be a special gift for you. There, there is a costume contest, um, so the best costumed runner um, will receive a little something special at the award ceremony. Oh, oh, game on. Yeah. Game on, Jeremy. Now, okay, this race, not only is it fun and it helps you burn off some of those Oktoberfest calories, but Michelle, this benefits the Vale Valley Charitable Fund, or fund and tell us, tell us a little bit about what that is and how that really helps the community. Well, it's a great event and we really appreciate the Beaver Creek Resort Company, but what we do is we help locals that are struggling financially due to a medical crisis. So it could be car accident, premature birth, cancer, or any number of things. So a medical crisis can really throw you, you know, into a financial crisis when all of a sudden everything is great and then something comes up unexpectedly. So the Vale Valley Charitable Fund, we're in our 20th anniversary and we hold events like this to help those folks in Eagle County that are struggling. Ah, so not only are you burning off calories, you're having a great time, you get to be in a costume, but you're benefiting people that really need your help. I don't know why you wouldn't sign up right now. Jeremy, can you sign up online ahead of time? Yep, you can sign up through this evening um, at beavercreek.com slash Oktoberfest. Uh, you can also sign up uh, Sunday morning, day of. Okay, so plenty of opportunities to register. The entire family is welcome. And uh, and so would you, can you describe a little bit of the courses and what people are going to be seeing while they're out there? Sure, yeah, the course maps are online, so you can check it out with the elevation profile. But um, we start on the back lawn, go up Buddy's Way, um, which is a beautiful single track to Aspen Glade, some more beautiful single track and an Aspen Glade. Um, the 5K then kind of works their way back down to the village. The 10K traverses the mountain on Alley's Way. Um, so you get views of the village as you come across um, all of the famous ski runs on the front of Beaver Creek. A um, little bit more climbing on village to village, um, and then a fun descent on Stack It back to the village for the finish of the 10K. Um, and then down the escalator when your legs don't work to the beer garden. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on and telling us all about it this morning. Coming up, we have a look at your local weather forecast, but I think, would you guys want to maybe try and warm up a little bit for the run and maybe run towards the beer tent with me? Are you ready? Sure. Okay. All right. We're going. Oh, Jeremy, you're going down. You're going down. Yeah. This dirndl. 